Welcome back, survivors! This is the Snow Owl. It's one of the new creatures here in Extinction. Pretty cool looking bird. It's similar to the Argentavis in size um, and the it, characteristics in flight and everything. Um, a little bit different than Argentavis, maybe more like a griffin though. Um, let me show it off to you guys for just a second here. This guy can uh, fly pretty quick, kind of like an Argentavis. He's not as fast as a Pteranodon, but he's got a really cool dive where he can glide like the Griffin does, and he's very quick when he's gliding like that, faster than maybe even a Pteranodon. Um, so they have that pretty cool ability there to glide. They also have really nice stamina, so he doesn't use a lot of stamina when you're flying around. He has a very large stamina pool. And one of the coolest things is this... Um, night vision or I guess it's more of a hunter's sense kind of thing it's kind of a uh, I don't know what do you call it infrared sense he can sense heat so you can see all the targets even small ones and things like that some creatures that might be kind of hard to spot you see him a lot easier with this ability um, it's also got one other ability that is really neat and I'll show it to you guys here let me gain my stamina back real quick land here we got an airdrop coming on the other side of the map He's got one other ability that's pretty cool. Oh, something was attacking me. <laughs> I probably got hit by that tail swipe from that Bronto. Let me find something just alone, a little bit away from that Bronto, so we don't get smacked around. That's uh, this creature's one downside. Is doesn't have a lot of hit points. Are kind of squishy. Here we go. It has a freeze attack, which actually doesn't attack anything. It heals anything in its presence when it does that. Um. So you can use that to heal your creatures, or um, it's useful, I'm thinking it might actually be useful for using it to heal tames. Like if you get into a situation where you're trying to tame something and it gets attacked by another creature and you don't want to accidentally kill it, or you're dealing too much damage to it, you can use a snow owl to heal it while you're taming it. So that'd be nice. Um, also, I think I'm basically just going to use it to heal my creatures because it has an area of effect around it, which heals other creatures around it. So I may figure out a way to use this guy with a couple other creatures to maybe defend the airdrops. Maybe that'll be an effective strategy using this guy to heal them, keep their hit points high, that sort of thing. Um, but it also freezes the enemies, so it could be useful, say, for if you want to come in and attack, boom, you drop that, it freezes them all for a minute and gives you a couple of free shots on them and then you can take off. The problem is, it uses a lot of stamina, so it's I mean, you may have to put a lot of points into stamina if you plan on using that strategy. One other thing I wanted to show you guys, it has to do with the Snow Owl, it drops an item. Let me see if it'll drop it here for me. Let me land it. They don't poop like regular dinos do. They have Snow Owl pellets. Oh, I thought it was fixing to drop one. That's just eating. But they drop snow owl pellets, which I've got a couple of them already. And it's a fertilizer, so you can use this as a plant uh, on your plants instead of uh, waiting for fertilizer and all that. It's not quite as much nitrogen as regular fertilizer, but it's still a lot of uh, nitrogen. So these can be used in place of fertilizer, snow owl pellets. They're they can also be used as a tame to tame one of the other new creatures, which I'm going to go find one right now and we'll show it to you. The gotcha. All right, I'm way over here in the northern, northwestern part of the map, and there is a cave over here that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, this is the entrance to it is right down there where that large metal structure is coming out of the ground. That's the entrance to the cave. It goes straight down. Jump on my snow owl here, and I'll show it to you guys. Basically, you just want to fly over it. I got up really high so we could see it better. I'm going to fly over it and dive right down into this cave. Uh, the snow owl gets a, gains a lot of speed when it's diving and gliding, so I thought it would look pretty cool here. Almost there. It's close enough. We should be able to start diving now. And this is a huge, huge cave. Uh, think of the vertical of how high we can go up in the city Seems to me we can go that low into this cave. It's a huge, huge cave. It's basically a whole other world down here. Uh, completely other map. Um, almost, it's it's very similar to the Aberration map in that uh, it looks very similar to it. It's got some of those large crystalline structures coming out of the walls. The big waterfalls. See the crystals coming out of the walls and everything. The large waterfalls, kind of like Aberration did. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of... It doesn't have any uh, aberrant creatures like uh, Aberration did. It does have a unique creature to this map, though. It's the only place I've ever seen it is down here in these caves. Or in this cave. This is a m monstrous cave down here. Um, 
There is one creature in particular that I'm going to hunt for when I find it. We'll see if we can tame it. This is the new creature, the Gasha. Um, I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing it right, but that that's my take on it. G-A-C-H-A, -A, the Gasha. That's a level 20, so it's pretty low level. I don't know that their levels are going to really make a big difference, because I don't think you're going to be using these guys for fighting. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to tame one and find out. But... See if we got any more snow owl pellets. None yet. So probably not gonna be able to get a really high level because I've only got two pellets. So this level 20 may be alright now just to kind of figure out how to do this, see how it works. We got little compies running around. That may, may be a problem. But these uh, goshes are a passive tame. It seems relatively safe other than those compies around here. So um, grab the owl pellet. And you need to put it in your, of course, your zero slot to use it for passive taming. I need to put my gloves back on. There we go. Walk up to the creature. It actually may work. This is a low level, and I don't know how many it's going to take. Let's see if we can get the icon. Oh, crap. Got compies everywhere. Just to make sure these guys don't bother us while we're doing this. Take them out. All right. I'm supposed to be able to passive tame these guys. Hold still, buddy. Maybe not. <laughs> wonder if you have to drop them on the ground. Let's see if that does it. Ah, it ate that. Yep, I got 64% taming on it that time. Sweet. All right, so that's how you do it. You got to drop them on the ground. So grab one more. Put it here. All right, buddy, you want another one? I got another one for you. Here you go. Sweet! We got our Gasha. So two owl pellets would have tamed like a level 40 or so in 30, 40, something like that. So we've got a Gasha. I don't know what all we can do with these guys. Can we, do we need a saddle? We need a saddle. I've got a saddle back at the base. So let me grab uh, this guy in one of our cryopods. Take him back. To, why is he walking in circles? Take him back to the base and uh, see what, if they're useful for anything. See how they perform. I guess before we fly back, we can check out this area a little bit. Um, this is that underground cave. And other there's supposed to be a boss down here somewhere. I, of course, have not seen it yet. Um, but other than those goshes, there's not a lot unique here. Um, it's a really cool area. It looks really nice. It's much less uh, dangerous than the surface is. Um, you don't have all the issues with the meteors falling and the corrupted creatures. There's no corrupted creatures down here. So it's, it'd be a nice place to live, to hang out, to build a base down here. Um, there's just not a lot of resources as far as, like, bigger creatures. There's no big dinos down here. To, oh, there's a resource. There's a uh, experience node. There's no, like, big creatures down here, like spinos or rexes. So there's nothing really good to tame. You'd have to leave here to go tame something good. Uh, but it can be a cool little place to build a base. We'll fly around it for just a minute here and check out some of the uh, sites here. Like I said, it looks a lot like Aberration. And the, it has all these big crystalline structures sticking out of the walls. It's got... It very, it's very cave-like looking. The waterfalls. A lot of it reminds me of um, Aberration. Oh, there's beavers down here. Cool. But that, other than that, there's no other new creatures that I've seen down here. The Gasha, um, this is where I've had to come to find honey. Um, I found the beehives and honey down here in, in this area. Um, so, yeah, there's a couple more Gasha right here. Level 150. Oh, great. The max level. <laughs> I don't have any pellets to tame it. Ah, well. Let's head back to base to check out this one we do have. All right, back over here in the city. Got my Gasha back over here. We're gonna need to put a saddle on him here. Gasha saddle. And I assume they're gonna eat uh, snow owl pellets all the time. Um, one thing I noticed is that they drop um, Gasha crystals, which I don't know what it says. It just, just contains mysterious items, but you can pick them up. That's kind of like, I guess it's their poop or whatever, um, but you can pick it up and I've got a saddle on him. Why is he turning all kinds of crazy colors like that? Did he eat the snow owl pellet? He ate it. Wow. Alright. Oh, there's the saddle. That's odd. I was gonna see if maybe if it ate a snow owl pellet, it would poop out a Gasha crystal. I found these, uh, looking at the ones out in the wild. These Gasha crystals right here. The ones out in the wild. I found, found them pooping them out. 
All right, so what's this guy good for? Is he good for get fiber? Oh, wow. Nice, he's got sharp claws. So he's got two attacks. Got a pound attack and a swipe attack. Let's see if he has any other abilities. He can't jump. He doesn't have any other ability, it seems like. They give up pretty colors, though. <laughs> they gather fiber really well. That's pretty cool. So, I'm gonna try and maybe put some berries on him, see if he eats berries instead of just snow owl pellets, because that's kind of expensive to feed him snow owl pellets all the time. It's kind of a pain. It's one more thing to collect and feed, but... Can he gather wood, I wonder? Or thatch? A little bit, not very much. But that's pretty cool. He can gather fiber really well with his claws. Sweet! He ate the wood. He ate the wood and the thatch that I ha that was in his inventory. Do they eat wood and thatch? Because all that wood and thatch that he had is gone now. Let me try that again. Make sure that's the only thing in his inventory. Now I gotta test that. Right click does seem to gain a little bit more than the left click. Alright, so 33 and 62. Let's see if he eats any more of that. Yes, he does. He's eating the wood. Wow, I got him back over here by the base and set him down and he starts eating. Oh, he pooped. I heard it. He pooped. A gosh, a crystal. Alright, now we gotta figure out what those things do. Hang on, he's got a, some sort of production... Obsidian gas ball. Oh, so you can choose what he may- wait. Maybe that's what comes out of the Gasha crystals. Let me try that. Let me look at these again. What does it say? Gasha crystal. Wait. Right click for more options. Contains miscellaneous items. Oh, cool. So you right click it and you get the items. So I got raw salt. I got congealed gas balls. And whatever that was. Crystal. Sweet! So then you can adjust what he produces. Um, green gems, fungal wood, blue crystallized sap, congealed gas balls, obsidian, or any. So you can kind of choose what he produces out of those. That is really cool! We kind of have an option. Um, obsidian is not the easiest thing to find on this map, but I have not seen any sap. Um, other than there's some red sap in some of the trees, but I've never heard of blue crystallized sap, so I'll try that. I can't find any green gems on this map, only blue gems, so give those a shot, see what see what they look like, see what we can do with those. But that's going to wrap up today's episode. Pretty cool. I like the saddle on this guy hanging around his neck. That's going to wrap up today's episode, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button. If you like this video, post me any comments or questions down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.